Namaste fam, Wolfgore here, and today I wanted to do something a little bit different with you guys. And I thought it might be fun to do some online quizzes. So I was thinking it over for a few weeks now, I was like, well, if we're going to do some online quizzes in a video, what should we do? And I came to the con 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 conclusion, I came to the conclusion uh, when I got this in the mail, this little golden snitch from uh, Bad Gamer Jess, that we should do some sorting quizzes, uh, see what house I belong in. For a very, very long time, I've been a huge Harry Potter fan. I started reading the books when I was 11 years old, which is ironically the same age as Harry is in the beginning of the books. And I grew up on them. I waited for almost all of them to come out, and I've read collectively the whole series. Probably I've read through about 200 books, something in that neighborhood. and. I was an enormous, enormous Harry Potter fan growing up. It was really something that helped me get through a difficult childhood after my parents split up. But not to take this to a sad note, this is going to be fun. I have always identified with Slytherin House personally. I've never really been Gryffindor, Hufflepuff. I kind of get the Ravenclaw thing, but I don't know if it's quite me. But you know, I've gone through a lot of changes in my life in these past few years, and I'm curious to see where I'll get placed. And I'm not even 100% sure I totally identify as a Slytherin these days. So we're gonna take some tests, and it's gonna be fun. We've got three tests up here. We've got a quick BuzzFeed one, uh, which I just found. Then this was the highest rated one on Reddit. I looked up what was the best Harry Potter sorting quiz, and then of course we have the Pottermore. Uh, if we get any duplicate questions, I'll probably just edit those out, but we'll see. But without any further ado, let's jump right into this. You've made it to Hogwarts, which means you've already bought a wand from Ollivanders. What material is at its core? I don't know. Uh, uh, phoenixes are birds of fire. And I am a fire sign as a Sagittarius, so I'm gonna go with Phoenix Feather. But dragons also breathe fire. Hmm, that's tough. Well, I already I already picked Phoenix. Already picked Phoenix. Can I switch to Dragon Heart Strings? Yeah, yeah, I'm a switcher. During the end of year exams, you noticed that one of your classmates was using an enchanted quill. You come top of the class anyway, but they are second. What do you do? Tell the professor immediately. Okay, so by enchanted quill, that means cheating. So you tell the professor nothing, but if I hadn't come top of the class, I'd definitely tell the professor. Encourage the other student to admit what they'd done to the professor. Give them a high five for managing to sneak the quill into the exam. <laughs> I, might, I might just give them a high five for managing to sneak the quill in. I'm not really much of a goody two-shoes, to be honest. You would be most hurt if a person called you weak, ignorant, unkind, or boring. Uh... Unkind? You're locked in a duel with a skilled opponent. They fire an unknown spell at you, and you shout, Expelliarmus, Protego, Stupefy, or Crucio. Crucio, yeah, let's just, let's just start committing some unforgivable curses, you know? It has to happen at some point in your life. Why not now? It's your fifth year at Hogwarts, and you've just received a howler from your parents. What for? Sneaking into the Forbidden Forest at night on a dare, getting caught cheating on many... my divination OWL, being put in detention after I was caught in the library after hours, nothing, I'd never do anything to warrant a howler. Probably sneaking into the forest, that's definitely something I would do. Which of these Dumbledore quotations speaks to you? Pity the living, and above all, those who live without love. Words are, in my not-so-humble opinion, our most inexhaustible source of magic. It matters not what someone is born, but what they grow to be. It does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. Um, I'm gonna have to go with, it matters not what someone is born, but what they grow to be. As somebody with high aspirations, that really does speak to me. Which of these most accurate, accurately describes your relationship with your closest friend? I love surrounding myself with people. The more friends I have, the better. I have a few very close friends that I would trust with my life. I tend to be wary around new people, so don't make new friends often. I find myself becoming friends with people who can help me to succeed. Well, a lot of those kind of speak to me in a weird way, but I tend to be a little wary of people. I've become a bit jaded in my old age. Which of your skills are you most proud of? My ability to absorb new information, my ability to make new friends, my ability to get what I want, my ability to keep 
Secrets. Interesting. Mm, that's a tough one. That's a really tough one. I guess my ability to get what I want. Just notice that funny looking cat thing over there and I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> the first Quidditch match of the season is approaching and you can't wait to get involved. What role are you playing? Uh, beater! I want to smash shit with a club. You're allowed a pet at Hogwarts, an owl, a cat, or a toad. Which do you bring? Uh, an owl, because they're pretty. <laughs> Nothing I can't be trusted to look after a pet. <laughs> it's Saturday, and you finished your homework, and you have some free time. You decide to spend some time away from your common room. Where do you go? Uh, the library? Ooh, the room of requirements. Hell yes. Hell yes. All about the room of requirement. What would you see in the mirror of Erised? Myself surrounded by riches, myself surrounded by my loving family and friends, myself knowledgeable above all, myself experiencing a marvelous adventure. Uh, myself with a diamond play button, <laughs> but that's not an option, so I'm gonna go with... I think I'm gonna go with experiences, because, eh, I don't know. Choose a Deathly Hallow the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, or the Cloak of Invisibility. I'm gonna go with the wand because, you know, who doesn't like power? Let's let's just be honest. Which path do you intend to follow after leaving Hogwarts? I joined the ministry. I want to make a difference in the world. I think I'd travel, travel for a while before committing to a career. I'd settle down and start a family as soon as possible. No. I continue to work hard in order to achieve as much success as possible. Uh, work hard, achieve success. That's what I'm all about. Success is like my only goal in life right now. True fact, story. Yeah, nailed it. And finally, we know that the sorting hat takes into account your preference. So which Hogwarts house do you feel you identify with the most closely? Well, that's kind of a bullshit thing to ask in my opinion, but given that I've always identified with Slytherin, I'm gonna just throw that into the mix. Oh! Oh, well, it looks like I am, in fact, still a Slytherin, according to this BuzzFeed uh, sorting thing. 38% Slytherin, 28% Gryffindor, 23% Ravenclaw, 11% Hufflepuff. Well, you know, I'm, I'm okay with those results, not gonna lie. Alright, time for the second quiz. And I just realized my face is absolutely glowing from the white intensity of my monitor. I don't like that, but I don't know how to fix that. I don't see a, a night mode on this website. So, what is your age? Uh, age, oh god, 25 to 30. Ooh, time flies. Man, male. Uh, which of the following would you most hate people to call you? Ordinary, ignorant, cowardly, or selfish? Uh Ordinary. After you have died, what would you most like people to do when they hear your name? Miss you, but smile. Ask for more stories about your adventures. Think with admiration of your achievements. Think with admiration of your achievements. I don't even need to read the last one. Uh, give the, given the choice, would you rather invent a potion that would guarantee you glory, wisdom, love, power? Power! Power! Ooh, or glory, though. Ooh. Glory or power, power or glory, glory or power, power. With power, I could achieve glory. So I'm going to go with power, and through my power, I would achieve glory. How would you like to be known in history? The wise, the good, the bold, the great. The great! You entered an enchanted garden. What would you be most curious to examine first? The silver-leafed tree bearing golden apples. Oh, the fat red toadstool that appear to be talking to each other, the bubbling pool, in the depths of which something luminous is swirling, oh, the statue of an old wizard with a strangely twinkling eye, oh, oh, I want to go to this garden, oh, I'm so intrigued by all the things, um, I'm going to go with the, the silver leaf tree bearing golden apples, because I feel like it's sort of poetic in a Garden of Eden sort of way. What kind of instrument most pleases your ear? the violin, the drums, the piano, or the trumpet. I love string instruments. Had it been cello or piano, I would have gone with cello, but I think with ooh, violin. No, I gotta go with violin. I've always loved string instruments. The cello is my favorite. Four boxes are placed before you. Which would you try to open? The small tortoise shell box embellished with gold, inside which some small creature seems to be squeaking. 
The gleaming jet black box with a silver lock and key marked with a mysterious rune that you know to be the mark of Merlin. The ornate golden casket standing on, on clawed feet whose inscription warns that both secret knowledge and unbearable temptation lie within. The small pewter box, unassuming and plain, with a scratched message upon it that reads, I open only for the worthy. Ooh. Ooh, that's tough. Ooh, that's real tough. Ooh, that's real tough. I'm gonna go with the, the silver Merlin box with the rune on it, because it really just caught my attention. Uh, four goblets are placed before you. Which would you choose to drink? The foaming, frothing, silvery liquid that sparkles as though containing ground diamonds. The smooth, thick, richly purple drink. Purple! <laughs> Once every century, the flutterberry bush produces flowers that adapt their scent to attract the unwary. If it lured you, it would smell of a crackling log fire, fresh parchment, home, the sea. Ooh. Ooh, crackling log fire. I'm all about that fire sign shit. You know what I'm saying, fam? A troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's study at Hogwarts. It is about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures, including a cure for dragon box, which the headmaster has nearly perfected. Uh, student records going back 1,000 years in a mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes. Believed to have belonged to Merlin, in which order would you rescue these objects from the Trolls Club if you could select order? Um, well, if I can rescue them all, then what matter does... Ugh, okay. Okay, I don't love this one. Uh, okay, so we got Dragon Pox Cure, Merlin's Book, Student Records. That seems right. Cure Records. Okay, I'm just gonna go with the first one. I don't know. I don't know. That, that question's got too many too many aspects to it for me to really focus. Which would you rather be? Trusted, liked, imitated, praised, envied, or feared? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, my inner Slytherin is like, well, feared would be nice. Um. Envied? I mean, you gotta be doing pretty well to be envied, so I'm gonna go with envied. Which of the following do you find most difficult to deal with? Hunger, cold, loneliness, boredom, being ignorant. I'm gonna go with boredom. Boredom slays me. That's why I'm always working on something. Like, it's bad. What are you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? Note, I'm allowed to, I'm allowed only six answer slots per question. If you don't like any of the answers, click... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, fuck off. You don't need to put that in. Every area of magic that I can. Apparition and disapparition, being able to materialize and dematerialize de de at will. Transfiguration, turning one object into another object. Flying on a broomstick, ooh. Hexes and jinxes, none of the above. Ooh, that's tough. Oh, that's tough. That's so tough. Uh, uh, flying on a broomstick would be sick. I think, yeah, who doesn't want to fly? Everybody wants to fly. That's just human nature. What are you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? Click none of these if you already voted on the last question. Oh, gosh darn it. If you could have any power, which would you choose? The power to read minds? Uh, well, that's always been my go-to superhero power, and I've had some long discussions slash debates about what our super heart what the superhero powers of me and my friends would be, and uh, that's always been my go-to, so I don't even need to read the others. Uh, which of the following would you most like to study? Note, I'm allowed on- Oh, stop putting that in, you motherfucker. Which of the following would you most like to study? Uh, centaurs! I'm a Sagittarius, so I'm gonna go with centaurs. And none of the above, because, blah, blah, blah. That's one question, technically. One of your housemates has cheated in Hogwarts exam by using a self-spelling quill. Now he has come top of the class in charm, speeding you into second place. Professor Flitwick is suspicious of what happened. He draws you to one side after his lesson and asks you whether or not your classmate used a forbidden quill. What do you do? Lie and say you don't know? 
Tell Professor Flitwick that he ought to ask your classmate. Tell Professor Flitwick the truth. You would not want wait to be asked to tell Professor Flitwick the truth. I ain't no rat. I ain't no rat. Um, I tell Professor Flitwick that he ought to ask your classmate because you know I'm only going to cover for him so much. Like he beat me out of the first place. He could he could have gotten a few wrong. You know, if you're gonna cheat, if you're gonna lie, you gotta slip in some truth. You gotta slip in, you know, some margin for error, or else you draw too much attention to yourself. Yeah, come on. It's one-on-one. It's one-on-one, bro. If you get fucked up, it's your fault. You and two friends need to cross a bridge guarded by a river troll. Who insists on fighting one of who insists on fighting one of you before he will let all of you pass? Do you attempt to confuse the troll into letting all three of you pass without fighting? That sounds like something I would do. I'm actually quite manipulative when it comes down to it. <laughs> manipulative is a bad word for it, but I can I can generally defuse situations pretty well. Uh, suggest drawing lots to decide which of you will fight. Uh, suggest that all three of you should fight. That's a good option, but volunteer to fight. Yeah, I think I would just talk the troll out of it. I'm pretty good at shit like that. Which road tempts you most? The wide, sunny, grassy lane, the narrow, dark, lantern-lit alley, the twisting, leaf-strewn path through the woods, the cobbled street lined with ancient buildings. Oh, oh I kind of like the cobbled street lined with ancient buildings. It paints a pretty picture in my head. Uh, which nightmare would frighten you most? Standing on top of something, if it's being stuck out in the Arctic Ocean during summer and I'm being circled by an orca, that is the nightmare that frightens me most. And I hate that nightmare and I wish it would stop. Orcas are terrifying. They're terrifying. Did you know that there are serial killer orcas that kill humans, like, over and over again? It's fucking creepy, bro. It's fucking creepy. <laughs> Which nightmare would frighten you the most? Standing on top of something very high and realizing suddenly that there are no hand or footholds nor any barrier to stop you falling. I don't love heights, but I'm an electrician, so I can deal with it. An eye at the keyhole of the dark windowless room in which you are locked... Uh, waking up to find that neither you, your friends, nor your family have any idea who you are. That's kind of awful. Being forced to speak in such a silly voice that you, that hardly anyone can understand you and everyone laughs at you. <laughs> oh, that'd be awful. Oh, my voice is such an important part of what I do. Um, yeah, so we're going to go with the voice thing. Late at night, walking alone down the street, you hear a peculiar cry that you believe to have a magical source. Do you proceed with caution, keeping one hand on your concealed wand, <laughs> giggity, <laughs> and an eye out for any disturbances? Draw your wand and try to discover the source of the noise. Draw your wand and stand your ground, withdraw into the shadows to await developments, while mentally reviewing the most appropriate defensive and offensive spells should you trouble should trouble occur oh definitely definitely be prepared if somebody's la laying a trap for you turn it the fuck around on them you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying they won't expect that a muggle confronts you and says that they are sure you are a witcher wizard do you ask what makes them think so agree and ask whether they'd like a free sample of a jinx <laughs> agree and walk away leaving them to wonder whether you are a bluffing Tell them that you are worried about their mental health and offer to call a doctor. Uh, uh yeah. I, I think I'd try and try and confuse them and make them feel dumb. Dawn or dusk? Uh, dusk all the way. Moon or stars? Moon was my instinct. Forest or river? River. Black or white? Black. Head or tails? Uh, t my heart went to tails. Maybe because I liked ass so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just said that. I just said that. Left or right? Uh, left. But I don't know. That's where my brain went. Submit answers. Let's see. Oh my. Okay. Well, I'm still a Slytherin. Definitely still a Slytherin. 84% Slytherin. Ravenclaw 60%. Gryffindor 40%. Hufflepuff 26%. So essentially, the same ratio as the first quiz, but uh, just higher percentages for some reason. But hey, it, it definitely looks like I am indeed a Slytherin. Yeah, yeah, that was my snake impersonation. I know, it was incredible. All right, we are here on the Pottermore website now. 
Be sorted and discover your house. Okay. Uh, begin the experience. Moon or star. Oh, we already answered that one. Hang on. Hang on, how do I... How do we do this? Oh, that's kind of awkward. Oh, but stars is purple. I mean... Okay, well, just, just to mix it up. I like that purple coloring. Four goblets are placed before you. Which would you choose to drink? The foaming, frothy silver liquid that sparkles as though containing golden diamonds? Or ground diamonds? The smooth, thick... Oh, no. We already did this. Siamese cat, ginger cat... Oh, 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 this one's different. This one's different. Okay. Uh, if you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? A Siamese cat, a ginger cat, a black cat, a white cat, a donny owl, a screech... Oh, purple. No, I'm not going to choose it because it's purple. A snowy owl, a barn owl, a common toad, a nether jack toad, a dragon toad, a harlequin toad, a three tree toad toad. What the f... Oh, man, this is... I don't love the way that Pottermore has this set up. Sure, a black cat. Which of the following do you find most difficult? I'm pretty sure these are all the same questions from... From the go-to quiz quiz and uh, yeah I don't think I don't think we actually need to do the Pottermore one it, it's too awkward to navigate their their quiz I don't like it I don't like it I wish they would uh they would revamp this a little because yeah that just feels really awkward to navigate but guys hey I'm a Slytherin I'm still a Slytherin you know I thought I thought I might still be a Slytherin but I you know, I was open-minded enough to think that something might have changed in my life that I might not be a Slytherin anymore. But, you can't argue with the quizzes, right? They are infallible. And it looks like I am, in fact, a Slytherin. So why don't you tell me below what you got on the quiz, or if you've already done the quizzes or the Pottermore exam, tell me what house you're in. And uh, if there's any other Slytherins out there, a special beard heart to you. We'll, uh, we'll hang out at the Slytherin meeting after. I'll have links to the quiz that I took down below, and let me know if you guys enjoyed this whole quiz video idea. We might end up doing this again, but I don't want to do it if you guys didn't enjoy it. But I'm betting that you did, so just let me know if you did. And uh, that's what we're going to call for today. Love your faces, beard heart. Bye bye You ever seen guns like these? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, make sure you like the video to support the channel. Make sure you leave comments supporting the content creator and uh, telling telling me how hot I am. Yeah, I know. Ugh, God damn, I'm disgustingly hot. Oh, yeah. And uh, did I forget anything? Oh, and uh, be sure to share on social media. We really like that over here at the uh, Wolfgore LLC. Thank you, fam. See you next time. Bye-bye.